up before doing the workout we're starting off with dumbbell drag this movement can be beneficial for working your core as well as engaging various muscle groups you're gonna need two dumbbells or one depending on what you have at home start with a lighter weight to get used to the movement make sure that you have a smooth surface such as a gym floor or a mat place the dumbbells on the floor Stand with your feet hip width apart and hold the dumbbells at your sides. Ensure your back is straight, shoulders are back, and your core is engaged. Perform the exercise for 4 sets of 15 reps. Push-ups are a classic bodyweight exercise that target the muscles in your chest, shoulder, tricep, and cores. Make sure that your wrists are aligned with your shoulders and your fingers should be pointing forward. Now we're doing overhead dumbbell tricep extension, also known as dumbbell skull crushers. This is an effective exercise to target your triceps. Make sure to inhale as you lower the dumbbell, exhale as you push the dumbbells back up. You should be resting for 30 seconds between sets to maintain an elevated heart rate and promote cardiovascular benefits. Moving on to my favorite exercise for my upper body, which is chest press. Exercise target your chest, shoulder, and triceps. Make sure to lower the dumbbells to your chest by bending your elbows. Press the dumbbells back up to the starting position by extending your arm. You are primarily working your chest, your pectoral major, as well as your shoulder, anterior deltroid, as well as your tricep. As a secondary muscle, you're working your back and your core. You are in the gym and you're doing the chest press machine, always make sure that you adjust the seat and handles of the chest press machine to align your chest. Moving to close grip, dumbbell press the dumbbells with an overhead grip palms should be facing forward position them closely together directly above your chest down to the side of your chest by bending your elbows keep your elbows close together press the dumbbells back up to the starting position by extending your arms off with warm-up sets of squats I usually do this when I want to prepare my body for a heavier lifting as well to promote strength and muscle development. Very lightweight because I want to have your heart rate all the way up and I want to introduce blood flow before a real lift. Up set number one, you should do 10 to 15 reps with a lightweight. Set number two, you should go down to 8 to 10 reps. The reason why I really want you to do a warm up set is because these sets help further prepare your muscles and joints for a heavier working set. Choosing a way that is not heavy will allow you to perform 15 reps with control form. Now, now move on to your working sets where you will progressively increase the weight. Adjust the weight based on your strength level and your desired rep. For example, set number one is 10 reps with a challenging weight. Set number two is eight reps with a slightly increased weight. Set number three is six reps with a further increased weight. You are maintaining proper form throughout all sets, especially as you increase the weight. into your body and adjust the weight based on how you feel. If you notice, I didn't give you reps. As a general guideline, aim for a rep range that aligns with your specific goals. I want to talk about something extremely important to me. Remember that everybody is different and genetic plays a role in how muscle appears. Additionally, there's no one size fit all approach. So it's beneficial to tailor a fitness and nutrition plan to your individual needs and goals. If you have a specific fitness goal, Feel free to DM me on my Instagram and we could do a consultation or feel free to go to your nearest gym. They have trainers there who are professional and are registered diet dietitian who can provide personalized guidance. Remember also that progressive overload doesn't always mean lifting heavier. You can also increase the number of sets, rep, or your overall training volume. If you're working on strength training, you should be doing four to six reps. You should be training specific muscle group two to three times per week. 
If you're working on hypertrophy, you should be doing 8 to 12 reps. You might train each muscle 3 to 4 times per week. Working on your endurance, you should be doing 12 reps and up. This can even include a full body or split routine performed 4 to 6 times per week. Guys, this is your workout for today. I really hope you enjoyed this workout. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and share the love. Don't forget to always tag your friends, welcome them to Muscle Pie, and work out. Because the more people that join you, the more happy you will be. This program could be done three times a week. However, the only difference is you won't be progressively on your squat. You should progress on your weights once a week and on your reps twice a week which means overload doesn't have to be only weights you could progress with reps there's so many different types so what i would suggest you to do is once a week go up on your waist with progressive overload and on the other days that you do want to focus on your glutes bring up your reps guys i'm out of breath Whew, and i'm still not done i have so much to do today but i'll see you on my next Wait, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!